All right, I'm on hole number 14 of the Great Outdoors Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. All right, going out here and going at it. So when I'm in this area here, okay, there's a hillside. All this is hill going down. It has all kinds of hilly here going in this direction. But there's a trough down here at the bottom. So if you're really close down here, on this edge, it actually rolls back down the hill, and then up here it, it funnels. So it goes from really, really steep, and then it comes around. So what I'm trying to do is, in the past, I've engaged this hill a little bit more because you're coming in at it kind of up in this area. My goal here today is to get as far, like up in this area would be perfect, but I'm ending up kind of out here because you gotta take some risks. The risk versus reward. So from where I'm at here, and what my goal is, is to try and straighten this out so that I can come out here farther and go straight out the hole. And I don't have to engage this hill so much. So the farther to the left that you can get, the more you can straighten up that fairway so that you have more of this fairway to run in on. And you can come at it. There is a trough that runs down here that's flat. So this hill that's here ends right at the hole. And then this hill that's here that's coming towards the hole it there's a trough through here and if you can get in that trough you can use your side spin to straighten the ball out and you can go right at it so that's my goal so if it seems like I'm, I'm I'm trying to play this hole a little different than traditional traditional you'd be a little bit lower down here so that means you'd have to start up here higher and you'd have and it's harder to get the ball in the hole so I'm making a slight little change here to see if I can increase the odds that I can get an eagle on this hole because this hole is definitely eagleable. I want to bring all of my, I'm not going to end up in my claw range, but just in the event, I want to make sure all my stuff is utility backspin. Tighten. Off we go. Open up a chest. Need to get one of those chests rolling. some golf. I'm going to have to buy a pack for this account to get me some gems. If you have an account and you do not have your clubs all to where you want them, and they don't have to be maxed out to be where you want them. If you've got the clubs that you play and you've got those clubs maxed out and it's like, hey, I've got a great set of clubs, I can make the changes I need and I'm good to go. I don't need to keep opening up chests and don't open up chests anymore. No more than two and a half top spin. I'm take the wind out. It's a little shy. Two rings. I'm gonna put just a little teeny bit of curl. And I hit it great to the right which took out all the curl that I put in it. I'm trying to get up there as high towards that top as possible. I do have more room to the left that I could put more curl on it, but if you put too much curl, it shortens up over here and you have a tendency to clip and then you end up short in the middle. And I'd rather be a little low and longer in the front than short up high in the middle. It's really when you're when you're playing this game, if there's no other skill skill that I can help you with as you're going up, is just playing consistent. And when you're setting these shots up, don't look at the shot like if I hit the shot perfect, it's gonna be perfect. I'm looking at it as what is it gonna take to get on to get to the area that I really want to be at if I hit a great to the left or the right or perfect. Okay, so I've got a little bit more. I don't have to come up here so much up here from uphill to downhill on it. I'm going to try and run it in just a little more. It's a four. It's about four right there. Oh, I hit it great to the right. 
If you were going to hit a great one way or the other and it's still going the whole great to the right would be the one, but... Uh, so that was with a little bit less backspin and it did not, the backspin didn't respond like I was hoping that it would. So I'm gonna go back. I was doing like a max backspin, max right hand side spin. And the ball has been coming to a pretty good stop right there. I was hoping I might be able to finesse it in, but if you wanted to finesse it in, I think I'm just going to stick to the backspin stuff on it. I'll play my main account in the opener, and then on the weekend round, I'll play this account first. So I've got a couple more times of looking at them. Trying to pick which way is the best way to come at it. If there's a hole that you're really working on, I've been trying to do, because I, I have a low-level club account and I've got a mid-level club account. Well, this account would be the mid-level club. It's got a lot of high, it's got a lot, but it's rares are mid-level. They're six sevens. It doesn't take very long to max out your commons to get to that point. And then my main account, so I get a lot of practice during the week and I post all the, I try and post as many of them as I possibly can. It seems like, uh, but if you're really working on a hole, you know, watch those videos as the rounds progress and I post them because I, I will make changes. I, if, especially if I'm on a track where I'm hitting a lot of perfect shots and they're not going in, I'll start making, I'll start making changes to start dialing that in. I'll go back and watch my videos and, and watch my gameplay and be very critical of what, what I did and if I made a right adjustment and trying to make notes on it. I'll let my opponent shoot. I figured they needed the practice. They felt like they needed the practice. Good game. Good luck. All right, that was hole number 14 of the Great Outdoors Tournaments in the opening round of the Rookie Division. Thanks for watching.